Now, today in statistics, the whole class has taken a test. And this is problem number three. It simply asks, hey, take these formula inputs, put them into the worksheet, and create formulas. And someone did this. Here's the numbers. Here's the names. Those are the formula inputs. There's the formula. But the sum function as a record in an Excel table? No, we can't do that. Now, this is common. People that are learning Excel for the first time will build solutions and then convert them to an Excel table. Now I'm going to show you a situation where we might want to use an Excel table and one where we might not. Now, if these are the only classifications for employees and these are the numbers and the goal is to figure out percent of total, well, I'm not going to create an Excel table for two reasons. One, I'm not going to add records later, and I want to use a dynamic spilled array formulas. Those are not allowed in Excel tables. So Alt equals, I get the total, dynamic spilled array formula magic. I highlight everything, including the total, and divide by the total. And when I hit Enter, bam, the formula spill down. So the situation is, we're not going to add records later. The advantage is we get to use dynamic spilled array formulas. Now, for an Excel table, if we're going to add records later, then this might be a really smart solution because we're going to add a total row. And it will always update, and our formula will always recalculate as we add new records, getting the correct percent of total and getting the correct 100% at the bottom of this column. So we don't put sum as a record. We actually, below the table, and there's a few ways to do this, I can just do Alt equals, and it adds the total row. Now, if you look up to the formula bar, Excel tables use the subtotal function, and 109 means sum. The other way to do that, instead of the cool keyboard, is right-click table, and then you would click Total Row, and it would add a total row. The keyboard method is faster. And now what do we do? Equals, and in an Excel table, that's a relative cell reference. I have to divide, and I do have to lock, because the Excel table feature automatically copies the formula down. So I'm going to hit the F4 key. No, I don't need to. It guessed what I want. That's table formula nomenclature for locked reference. That means we have total row at the bottom of the employee column with two square brackets. And of course, this is a relative cell reference. That at symbol is the implicit intersection operator, which means, hey, from this column, always get what's ever in the row. So when I hit Enter, the formula does not spill down. It copies down. And if I go to the last cell, F2, even though that doesn't look like a relative and absolute cell reference when we are not using an Excel table, sure enough, that one moved as we copied down, and bam, that one's locked. Now we can enter Alt equals, actually Control Z, you can choose from the drop down, which is kind of cool. I'm going to click Sum, and now watch this. We chose an Excel table to solve this problem because tab. I'm going to add new categories for employees later. Super admin, and there's only 22 of them. And when I hit tab, just like that, everything updates. Tab. Super staff, and there are 15 tab. The total updates, the percent of totals are correct, and the 100% at the bottom is correct. All right, so advantage is dynamic spill array formulas. Advantage is we can add new records later. All right, we'll see you next Excel magic trick.